That's right, Jason. But before I touch on that, I want to give you a close-up look of what the shelter is dealing with today. Its numbers doubling here in the last 24 hours. We have cage after cage here now filled with cats. Also, take a look at these guys filled with kittens too. So many cats are here. 35 were rescued from here yesterday. The rest, like this little guy, hanging around when I visited, getting picked up today. They came from a home that the shelter says was full of feces, full of garbage, that still right now is emitting such a strong odor you can pick it up from the street. The man who lives there also had a dead cat in his freezer. Again, the shelter saying these were horrendous conditions, but back to the issue of whether charges will be filed, their director saying hopefully not. As long as the homeowner continues to cooperate, they hope to avoid them as they believe this individual is not well. There's a very different mentality um, in dealing with individuals like the individual who own these cats. Um, they see things much differently. Um, it's obviously not normal for me to have this many animals. It's not normal for me to lay an animal fecal matter. They don't see it the same way. It, it's a, it truly is a, a very sad existence and sad illness. Now, Jason, from here, all of those cats we mentioned, they have to be spayed or neutered. It's going to be a big hit on resources here. But take a look at this, a positive. In the last day, the community hearing about what happened and donating a lot of goods. We have canned goods they've donated, uh, litter, this entire room now filled with donations, people wanting to help out and make taking care of these 50 cats a little easier. Reporting for the Now Indy in Delaware County, Ann Kelly, RTV6.